So what do we mean by super fast data input? Well, data input is probably the most important thing you do in Excel. When you first opened up an Excel spreadsheet, it was probably the first thing you tried to do, you know, clicking on a cell and just entering some data. And in your everyday work, you'll be doing a lot of data input. So it's a topic worth thinking about. And it's probably a topic that we don't think about enough. And we're gonna to try to address that in this video series. So what are some of the different ways to do data input? Well, the easiest way and probably the way you first did it is just to type uh, data in. And that's fine. Certainly if you're getting started out in Excel, uh, that's fine typing data in. But you know, it does take quite a lot of time and it takes quite a lot of keyboard work uh, to get it done. So what are some of, the, some of the other options if we're thinking about data input? Well, uh, one way to speed it up would be to use a drop-down menu. And that means uh, we click the mouse, options come up, and we can then choose from those options. So compared to normal keyboard inputs, that's quite a nice improvement in terms of efficiency. But still, if you were in a high pressure situation, and let's imagine you're a classroom teacher and you've got uh, students coming into the classroom and those students are asking you questions, you're trying to think about your lesson plan, you're trying to you know, find out if they've done their homework, you've got a million things you're thinking about. That's quite a high pressure situation and you certainly don't want to be doing lots of keyboard inputs in that situation. You've got more important things to be thinking about. Even having to do a few clicks and some mouse work to manipulate a drop down menu would be quite annoying in that situation because again, you've got more important things, things to think about. You want to do your job. Now this is where super fast data input can really help us out because with super fast data input, we're talking about a single button click, just a single button click to do an important data input job. And in this series, we're looking at the example, taking the example of the classroom teacher and thinking, well, if we had a list of students and we wanted to quickly uh, note down if they're present or if they're not present, how could we do that? We just want to do a single button click. We've got loads of other things to be thinking about. We just want to do it using a single button click. And that's what uh, super fast data input allows you to do. Now, in order to create this mechanism, um, if you try to create it without using code, certainly, uh, it would take a long time. We've got to create a lot of buttons and you'd have to do lots of annoying tasks like, like lining buttons up and things like that. So we're going to look at how to use visual basic coding to speed the task up and not just to speed it up, to get to a position where we can reset uh, this file or recreate this file for a new number of students at just a single click of a button. So we're gonna look at creating all of those buttons um, with just a single uh, button click. And along the way, we're gonna look at loads of really useful um, coding techniques. We're going to look at copy and pasting buttons, creating multiple buttons. We're going to look at using the top and the left property of an object um, to position uh, the buttons. We're going to look at creating a, a single macro that will change the value in a cell uh, regardless of where the button might be. So the macro is actually going to identify where the button is in the spreadsheet and change a cell uh, according to that. So we're going to uh, learn loads of useful coding techniques and create this mechanism for super fast data input. Uh, we're talking about a classroom situation, but you could apply it to uh, any number of work situations as well. So I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. This is the video series, Use Excel VBA to create buttons for super fast data input. I hope you'll join me in the first video.